Welcome to Mount Royal University's Biology Laboratories. Here at Mount Royal, we have many spaces dedicated to different laboratory disciplines. Regardless of the disciplines, we have general safety rules that apply to each and every lab. The rules and regulations present in each and every biology lab are there to keep you and the environment safe. To prepare to enter any space, review the safety information posted on the lab door. Use this information to check your status so you are ready to safely enter the lab. Instructors have the right to refuse admission to anybody not complying with lab safety regulations. No food or drink is allowed in any lab. This includes water and chewing gum. Never enter a lab unless you have approval and are accompanied by appropriate personnel. You must complete the Workplace Hazardous Materials Information System or WIMIS training before entering any lab space. WIMIS symbols are standard for all labs. All individuals must be dressed appropriately. Long hair must be tied back, a knee-length lab coat properly fastened, long pants or skirts, socks that completely cover the ankles, closed-toed shoes. Always bring your safety glasses. For some lab activities, they will be required. If protective gloves are required, these will be supplied to you. Always maintain a clean and tidy lab space. Ensure the floors are cleared to prevent tripping hazards and bench tops are tidy to avoid accidents. The biology labs have a fire extinguisher, usually near the front door, first aid kit, safety shower, eye wash station, chemical spill kit, telephone, and emergency contact information for your safety. If any spills occur while you are working in the lab, notify your instructor immediately. They will direct you on how to properly clean and decontaminate your workspace. Chemicals or debris may accidentally come into contact with the eye. If this occurs to your lab partner, remain calm and act quickly. Guide them to the eye wash station Engage the device and water will start to flow. Gently ease the individual's face into the stream and encourage them to keep their eyes open. Flush for 15 minutes. Because contaminants can become lodged behind a contact lens, the wearing of contact lenses while in the lab is discouraged. The emergency showers are only to be used in extreme circumstances where a significant amount of water is required. Stand directly under the shower and pull the lever. Water will begin flowing immediately. Push up on the lever to stop the flow of water. Note, there are no floor drains, so be prepared for flooding. Hazardous waste disposal is an important part of keeping our environment safe. Here at MRU, it is critical you follow the guidelines established. Disposal procedures must be adhered to by all members of the university. All waste generated in the biology labs is considered hazardous, and disposal in general landfill or down the drain is strictly prohibited. Jeff, no! It has to go Liquid waste containers are clearly labeled with a list of their contents. Never fill a waste container past 80% capacity. Tell your instructor if the container is full and they will provide a new one. Chemically contaminated solid material, such as gloves, paper towels, and plastic transfer pipettes, can be disposed of in small white bench top containers or large white bins. If the small container on the bench is full, empty the contents into the large white bin before you leave the lab. Please notify your instructor if you require assistance with this task. Disposable glassware, such as emptied test tubes, Microscope slides and broken glassware are placed in black plastic buckets for disposal. Most biology labs handle primarily risk group one biological materials. 
These substances are considered low risk to individual and public health. However, immunocompromised individuals may still be at risk. It is therefore imperative that you follow strict guidelines. Examples of biohazardous materials you may handle include human bodily fluids, sheep blood, preserved animal tissues, bacterial cultures, and recombinant DNA. Biohazardous materials are separated into two streams, either processed off-site or on-site. Animal tissues or bodily fluids are sent off-site for incineration. These materials include chemically preserved animal parts, non-preserved animal parts, and large volumes of urine and blood. Most other biological materials are sterilized on-site by autoclaving before disposal. This includes bench coat, paper towels, gloves, Eppendorf tubes, and pipette tips contaminated with biohazards. This waste may also be treated as chemically contaminated, packaged for incineration, or landfill. The simplest way to identify if a container will be used for autoclavable waste is the presence of a clear plastic autoclave bag in the container. Always ask your instructor if you are unsure. Biohazard sharps such as blades and pins used during animal dissections, microscope slides, and cap syringe needles are placed in small biohazard containers. Following these general rules will help keep everybody in our biology labs safe. Some experiments may require additional protective measures. Your instructor will make you aware of these prior to the commencing of the lab. If you have any questions regarding protective measures or how to dispose of materials, please ask your instructor before leaving the lab. There is one Containment Level 2 laboratory on campus. This space requires special approval and strict adherence to guidelines from the Public Health Agency of Canada and the Canadian Food Inspection Agency. Risk Group 2 organisms may be used under certain circumstances and always under supervision. You will learn more about these facilities as you take microbiology courses. If an emergency does happen, your safety is the most important thing. For immediate assistance for non-life-threatening emergencies, call Security Services at extension 5900 from any MRU phone, or you can use your cell phone and call 403-440-5900. For life-threatening emergencies, call 911, then security. In case of an emergency where evacuation is necessary, Stay calm, remove your lab coat and gloves, grab any personal belongings within easy reach, and exit the building following the escape route posted by the door. All biology labs in the B-Wing go to Muster Point E, located in parking lot 5, east of the building. Do not wait by the doors. Make your way to the parking lot and stay with your lab group and instructor so everyone can be accounted for. When it is safe to do so, you'll be allowed back in the building. Thanks for watching, and from all of us at MRU's biology programs, we hope you have a safe and fun experience here at Mount Royal.